thank you for joining me. Well, today I'm on a hilltop looking over Winchester. Now, Winchester was the Saxon capital of England at one point. Well, while I'm detecting, why not let's talk a little bit about Winchester? Well, Winchester in the late Iron Age was an urban settlement known as Apidium. This settlement became an important centre for the British Belgae tribe. In 70 AD, the Romans started to build their own new town at Winchester, known as Venta Belgarum. And in AD 407, the last Roman left. An ancient Winchester turned into rack and ruin. So how did Winchester actually get its name? Well, it was the Saxons that referred to the Roman settlement as Caesta. Then later on, Venta Belgarum. Then it became Venta Caesta, before being changed to Winter Caesta and then eventually corrupted to Winchester. Winchester's most famous son is indeed Alfred the Great. Alfred became ruler of the West Saxon after he and his brother defeated the Danish Vikings at the Battle of Ashdown, and that was in 871, at the tender age of 21. Alfred was crowned King of Wessex and established Winchester as his capital. And Winchester was rebuilt again. The streets were formed in a grid pattern, people were encouraged to live and work there, and it wasn't long before Winchester became a flourishing city again. Almost a flat line, look, 92. Another Coca Cola can. No, be optimistic, it's a nice big silver coin. And once I've put the spade in, it'll have a scratch across it. So let's have a look. Ah. One thing I will say is the Saxons sure love their fizzy drinks. It's actually a top of a time traveler's watch, I think. I'm gonna clean that up and uh, just see what it looks like. Yeah, pleased with that, really pleased with it. I've got the jewel out of the center of it as well. Oh, I've dropped that, I'll leave that for someone else. So there you go. And that would have gone on your wrist there and all the buttons would have gone in there and uh, you would have time traveled. Obviously it was Saxon Saxon time travellers there would have used these sort of things and just um, come back to 2022 and that's where he's probably lost his time travelling watch. What a load of old bollocks, I talk. Well, disaster struck in Winchester in 1348-49 to 49, when the Black Death arrived, brought in from mainland Europe by migrating Asian black rats. The plague returned again in earnest in 1361 and at regular intervals for decades afterwards. It was estimated that more than half the population of Winchester may have been lost to this disease. And in 1901, the famous statue was erected at the bottom of Winchester High Street. You can still see it there today. And that was to commemorate the thousandth anniversary of his death. Well guys, I'm gonna give up now because this stubble really is too long to detect. It's driving me mad. But hey, you got a free history lesson, so you can't complain, can you? Seriously though, Winchester is a fantastic place. If you're ever in the south of England, spend the day in Winchester. There's so much history, there's so much going on, and it's just a chilled out place to spend some time. I'll be at Detectiveville in September, so if you want to come along and say hi, please do. But until then guys, I'm going to sign off and hopefully see you on the next video where you never know, we might be finding stuff. Thanks for your support and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.